Chucha TV Story Time Deep in the jungle there lived a flock of birds. The elder bird in the flock always guarded the younglings. A hunter sees the birds and said, Let me throw some nuts and grains and lay a trap. I need to hunt them and take them home for dinner. The younglings noticed the nuts and grains on the ground. The younglings did not realize that it's a trap. They flew towards the nuts and grains to collect them. The elder bird stopped them and said, Younglings, food does not come free in the jungle. Anything that comes without hard work is not good. The hunter overhears the elder bird talk to the younglings. The hunter was disappointed and started to walk away. As he starts to walk, he hears the elder bird say that it is time to collect some food. The hunter notices the elder bird leave and he said to himself, Oh yeah, the elder bird has left. It's my best chance to capture the younglings. Noticing the nuts and grains, the younglings flew down, wanting to collect them. They got trapped while collecting the nuts and grains. We got trapped! <gasps> the hunter with a sheepish grin and scary laugh said, Ha 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 ha! I got you all! Be ready to get into the birdcage! The younglings got so scared! <gasps> started to cry for help. Help! 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 The elder bird, returning from the hunt, heard their cry. I told you younglings not to be cheated by anything free. Look what has happened now. The elder bird notices a youngling Try to break free from the net. Heap to me, younglings! Look at how these ants work together to carry the big chunk of food. Likewise, flop your wings together and you will realize your strength. It was a surprise to see what happened next. The younglings flapped their wings together and the trap broke free from the ground. The younglings were up in the air with the trap. The hunter came running just to see the younglings fly away and said, Oh well, I failed to capture them. The hunter was so disappointed that he threw the cage and went away. The little younglings broke free from the trap and went back to their nest. They remembered the lesson learned and lived happily ever after. So little friends, what did we learn from the story? We learned that the hunter is bad. Yes, and we also learned that unity is strength. Oh yeah! That's so right, Mr. Harlow! Unity 
is strength. I'm so happy to hear that. It's almost dark. Time to go home. Till we meet again in the next story time. Ciao, little friends. Thank you, Mr. Harlow, for the wonderful time. Joey! Joey! There you are! Joey, you've been doing a great job guarding the farm and the animals. I have a reward for you for all your hard work. Here, let me reward you with this nice big bone. Joey was so happy and showed his happiness to his master by wagging his tail. Joey took the bone to his kennel. He was so happy that he was gifted with a bone for his hard work. He jumped with joy and kissed the bone since the bone was a prized gift and said, I wish to celebrate this day by eating the bone all by myself. The other dogs in the neighborhood came to visit Joey to play with him. Joey did not want to share the bone with them. So he growled, barked at the other dogs. The other dogs, hurt by his action, left to play by themselves. Joey took the bone in his mouth and said to himself, Calls for a celebration. Let me take the bone to the park and eat it all by myself. With the bone in his mouth, he started walking towards the park, pretending not to see the other dogs. The other dogs, hurt by Joey's action, sat there all sad. While crossing the bridge, he saw his own reflection in the water through the gap in the bridge. I told the neighborhood dogs not to follow me, and yet they follow me, trying to grab my bone. Let me growl, snarl, and bark at them. The bone he was carrying in his mouth fell into the stream. <gasps> Boo hoo hoo! I feel sad that I lost the bone. <laughs> Feeling sad losing the bone, he sat by the side of the stream. The neighborhood dogs were starting to feast on the food they had fetched. They saw Joey sitting all sad by the stream. Hey Joey, why are you sitting here all sad? Joey narrates what had happened. They asked Joey not to feel sad and shared their food with him. Joey recollected his misdeed felt ashamed for not offering food to the neighborhood dogs. In the meanwhile, a man was sitting by the stream and catching fish with his fishing rod. He threw the hook inside which caught the bone that Joey had dropped. Upon realizing that it was not a fish, the man threw the bone. The bone landed by Joey's feet. 
all excited, Joey yelled. It's my bone! It's my bone! I got it back! The next moment, he was reminded of his friends. He hailed his friends and shared the bone with them. From that day onwards, they were the thickest of friends and lived happily ever after. Little friends, I feel so happy sharing this story with you all. Such a lovely story, Mr. Harlow. We learned that you should share with and care for everyone. Sharing is caring. I'm so happy to hear that. It's almost dark. Time to go home. Till we meet again in the next story time. Ciao, little friends. Thank you, Mr. Hollow, for the wonderful time. Goodbye. And be back soon, Mr. Hollow.